Hi, I'm Kate Stalter with Investors Business Daily, and I'm here today with Bill O'Neill, the IBD founder and the author of the bestseller, How to Make Money in Stocks. Hi, Bill. It's nice to be here. Hey, your book, How to Make Money in Stocks, has sold over two million copies. So why did you decide to go ahead and update the book and revise it now? Well, if you look back in 2000 to 2002, most investors lost 50 to 60 percent of their capital. And then in 2008 and 2009, they repeated, uh, or at least most of them. And I think that after that's happened, most people now realize they've got to get serious about this. They can't just work with it a little bit or can't just delegate it to anybody else. They've got to learn what they're doing because is uh, your money worth uh, something to you? And after you get hit hard twice, I think you realize that the market's not that easy and you've got to do some homework. So what are the biggest changes in this new edition, Bill? What's new and different this time? Well, the first thing I did is start right off the bat with 100 charts that represented the biggest movers in different cycles going back for 100 years. The reason I started with charts is because over these years I've found that that's the thing that most people have trouble with. First of all, a lot of people don't even use them which is a serious mistake. That's like a doctor saying, I'm not going to use an x-ray or I'm not going to use an MRI. The professionals that really know what they're doing use charts because it's measuring supply and demand. You can analyze whether a stock is really acting properly or not. It's a critical part. So I put that right at the very beginning and we marked up what you're supposed to be able to recognize on a chart. We'd show how a chart should form, uh, the signs that it's under accumulation, the signs it's not doing well. So that's the first thing that's completely new and different. Uh, It's a lot of them. You've got to trudge through a a hundred charts. But it also tells you something that patterns on charts are repeated cycle after cycle after cycle. So everybody thinks everything is new because society has changed and there are new products and all But the charts don't change too much, and they do tell you exactly what's going on. It's just up to you to learn how to read them, so it's important. In Chapter 2, I follow up by separating out all of the specific patterns. We have about nine or ten different patterns. One we call a cup with a handle. It's the most prevailing one, and we have dozens of examples of them. So you can compare one to the other and get to begin to recognize what does that look like. And the whole concept here is if you study it enough, then if you get a chart book or you have a a system on on your PC where you can uh, study the charts, each week you can look through and find what stocks now look like they're forming a pattern that is a sound, successful pattern that's always worked in the past. That gives you a huge edge and something that most people should learn. If you're going to invest your money, you might as well uh, have the tools. And if you don't do this, you've got a serious disadvantage because you don't know if you're chasing a stock too high. You don't know if you're buying it when it's under a heavy liquidation. Uh, There are all sorts of things that you can't recognize unless you learn how to read charts. So you don't want to listen to the college professors that may tell you that, oh, they're not any good because I don't know too many uh, professors that have made a lot of money in the stock market.